World First Brain and Spinal Institute. If it wasn't for hope, we wouldn't live. I want a centre of health. Not a hero or anything like that. A regular bug just doing what I love doing, you know, helping the kids, you know. Rugby League Club's been going for 25 years next year, you know, and I've been there since day one. The safe play code in concussions, spinal or head injuries and stuff like that. We'd take them and send them straight off to hospital. Having something in the area would be massive. Family is all that counts, you know. As a parent, you want the best for your child, that if they ever need it, they have access to it. I work really hard and it's probably the, the reason I do everything I do. I've been a trader ever since 1984. Yeah, the father taught us the trade, yeah. I've got a 13-year-old and a 5-year-old. And I go, I'd like for my kids to take over the business and carry it on when I'm gone. Whatever we can do to make life better for the kids, hospitals, schools, that's what you live for, your kids. Your kids are everything. Sacrifice has built our community to where it is today. Those who lay the foundation for us to have the opportunity now. I started neurosurgery 30 years ago. Developed a technique called keyhole neurosurgery. I love it. I'm incredibly passionate about it. Don't want to give up until people, not only in Australia, but all around the world, are offered the best care they can be given. Initially, they just had barbers as doctors, as surgeons. Physiology versus emotional health had nothing to do with it. But now, it's got a lot to do with it. So you walk into any hospital these days and it looks like a hospital. I want a centre of health. Well, it doesn't feel like a hospital at all. It feels actually like something that's very pleasant and almost like a vacation. Not just looking at the brain tumour, but looking at the person themselves. It's important that a patient knows that you care for them. I'll fight with them 100% of the way, by their side, never giving up if they're not giving up. It's a, it's a very arrogant stance to call something inoperable. It doesn't at all take into account what the patient's willing to risk. In 2016, I started vomiting, getting massive headaches. And yeah, mum knew something wasn't right, so we went to get an MRI and I was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumour. There was no quality of life. I was pretty much bedridden really and definitely scared. Definitely searching for an answer there. I was in a really bad position that no teenager wants to be in and Charlie was my hope really and he saved my life. I don't think I could ever trust anyone like I do Charlie. Mike, he is a phenomenon. What Mike brings to the formula is this global excellence, if not the smartest neuroscientist in the world. On top of all of that, he's a very good surgeon and a very caring doctor. His patients love him because he doesn't talk down to them. Charlie's great at opening up people's eyes, thinking differently. I'm more of the technical side of things. I like to think big, but also to get into the weeds. It was basically like gasoline in matches, and it's been on fire since, I think. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to shape history. It's our time. It's our time. It's our time. Our key components. The Blacktown Brain and Spinal Institute. A new private hospital. Five-star Medi Hotel. Master Plan Precinct. I want to take that tenacity, that ability to fight until the bitter end of caring holistically for the patient and build this centre that has the same agenda. Total focus, not giving up and offering a centre of excellence where patients can come and they know they're going to get the best treatment in the world. 
It's the 21st Century Neuroscience Hospital, where from the ground up, it's designed by experts, by doctors, doctors who actually practice, aimed at getting advanced treatments to patients quicker, integrating research, cutting edge ideas, also making a hospital that makes sense, that we think is the best way to do it and not build another 1860s model hospital. If you're in Sydney, if you're in Hong Kong, it doesn't matter. This is a buck stops here hospital. This iconic landmark will locate Western Sydney on a global scale for the hope, health and success of the community. $15.6 billion local economy. Population growth will exceed 500,000 by 2036. Close proximity to the new International Sports Park and the new Warwick Lane redevelopment. Five-star hotel and rehab facilities with the family in mind designed by surgeons for their patients to work at their peak performance and give their patients the best possible chance to heal. And of course, Blacktown City Council unanimously supports this process. Both sides of the chamber are in full support. So as a city, Blacktown City Council is fully supportive of what Charlie Teal is seeking to establish. And we are so proud to be a part of that. With a unanimous memorandum of understanding signed by Blacktown City Council, the broader experience backing team will be supported by strategic advisors Deloitte. Join us in the fight against neurological disease together with Dr. Michael Shugru and Professor Charlie Teo. The new Brain and Spinal Institute anticipating completion 2023. Join us in making history.